keyhole spinal surgery is also known as minimally invasive surgery where we use small incisions to do the operation now while we have a lot of advantages where we have a smaller incision and lesser bleeding and faster recovery um, keyhole spinal surgery is technically more difficult and it takes a longer time than traditional operation because you operate on a very small part of the spine at one time now keyhole spinal surgery is a recent advancement where the limits and the, the possibilities are being pushed uh, as time progresses. Now, majority of spine surgeries can be performed using a minimally invasive approach, but there are some situations where a minimally invasive surgical approach may not be appropriate. For example, if there is severe deformities or if the the procedure requires operation through multiple levels or it requires an operation through uh, very extensive um, segments of the spine. This would make minimally invasive surgery less appropriate because of an altered anatomy and because extensive work is required, it means that the surgical time would be multiplied many, many times. So. I'd say 80 to 90% of lumbar, lower back surgeries can be done through keyhole surgery, but there is about 10 to 20% of cases where the deformity is severe, or if it's a very large extensive surgery that's required, or if there is a lot of bleeding expected, like for tumor surgery where you will need a lot of um, blood stopping agents like hemostatic agents to achieve the operation, then in such situations an open surgery may be more appropriate.